Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today for our product focused webinar where we cover one specific topic in detail for those who have already started using TaxDome. Today's topic is all about how to effectively communicate with your clients using the TaxDome portal. So let's get started by walking through our agenda for today. We're going to start off by walking you through how to sync your existing email into TaxDome, and we're going to discuss the differences between email and the Inbox Plus, your TaxDome notification center. We're also going to go into how to gather information from your clients two different ways, through customizable organizers and through messages with client tasks. We're also going to show you a great feature, how your clients can upload documents without having to log into the system to do it. We'll then show you a quick overview of the client portal to show you what your customers will experience. And then after that, we will discuss contracts and personalized bulk emails. Then we will finish off today with a quick discussion about how you can automate your client onboarding and lead drip through our TaxDome automations. So let's get started here. We're going to start with the email sync function. So what does this mean? Well, you can sync your existing email, Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, whatever you have, into TaxDome very quickly. Once synced up, for those accounts in your system where the contact has the email sync toggled on, it's going to pull all of your historical emails automatically into TaxDome. Then, going forward, you have a choice to send emails from your current email system just like you do every single day. You don't have to change a thing that you're doing. Or you can send from inside TaxDome. But that's the beauty of the sync function. Anytime an email is sent to or received from your contact, it will automatically populate in the system. Now, this is great for a single person office because it's so much easier to find what you need. Just go into the client record instead of sifting through a giant inbox full of old emails. But for those who have a larger team, you've now just eliminated the need to carbon copy everybody on every single email and eliminated the need to clutter up your inbox and you no longer have to wonder if that important email was sent out by somebody on your team. You simply open the client account, look in the emails, and you can see for yourself whether or not it was done. And that's why email sync is so important and so valuable. It all happens automatically, but it does save you a lot of time and a lot of energy and keeps you much better organized. Now, right here, we have a great help article on everything you need in order to get this set up. It's quite easy to get this all done. But of course, if you do need some help, just reach out to our team. We will be happy to help you and walk you through it. So what you see on the right side of your screen here is what you're greeted with once you click on settings, then click sync your email. Simply enter your password and you are on your way. But just a heads up, if you use Outlook and you have your two-factor authentication set up, you'll need to take some additional steps of setting up an app password, just like you see is occurring here on the right. But again, the email sync article I just showed you walks you through everything you need to do. Once you get everything synced, you might head back to your portal and notice, hey, my inbox is actually empty. What's up with that? Well, that is a great question to ask. So let's get into your email versus your inbox plus and what the difference is. Your inbox plus is your personalized notification center and emails are just one of the notifications you can choose to see in your inbox plus. Each user can set up their inbox plus to populate with whatever's important to them. You can see over here on the right side of the screen that there are a bunch of options that you can toggle on and off for notifications. You see bills, payments, documents, tasks, and yes, even your emails. 
you also see that you can choose to get notifications in your Inbox Plus and your email or just one or the other. So how exactly does this help reduce your emails and clutter? Well, let's go back to your ability to eliminate being carbon copied on every single email. Think of all the emails you are copied on that you really don't need to see. Now, eliminate all of those emails. What will your email inbox look like now? But on the flip side, what if one of your clients emails somebody else in your office but does not carbon copy you? There could be something that you should have received, right? Well, you'll see that in your inbox plus. So you're always in the loop, even if your customer or your employee doesn't carbon copy you when they should. Now, what if you are not assigned to a particular client, but you still want to know what's going on? Well, if you are following them, you're fine because you'll have any emails sent to or received from the client in your inbox plus, but not in your email. And if you don't want to follow specific email threads, well, you can just mute them. So using the inbox plus, your email inbox can stay clear, but you are still in the loop. You don't need to sift through 100 new emails and filter out what's important. You don't need to manually sort everything. Just visit your inbox plus. But now back to our initial question. I synced all of my historical emails, but my inbox plus is empty. Shouldn't I have all of the emails that I just synced magically appear there? Well, no, you won't. The history will be in the client's account, but it will not throw thousands of emails into your inbox. It will populate from the time you set that up going forward. So until new client emails start coming in, well, that would remain empty for you. All right, so next up, we're going to talk about our secure messaging within the system and how those are different from emails. Now, secure messages are just like SMS, but so much better. Like an SMS, a TaxDome secure message will be pushed to their phone through the TaxDome mobile app. But what can secure messages do that SMS can't? Well, first, you can turn on reminders so you can automatically ping them if they're not being responsive. What about documents? Can you or your customer effectively upload a document that's requested through an SMS and have it go straight into their account? Well, with secure messaging, you can. When a client or another team member has responded in a chat thread or uploaded a document and you have the thread open on your device, you will instantly see the changes. Now, what if you need to assign a few tasks for your customer to complete? Well, you can do that right over here and you see that over here on the right. Again, not something you can do through text. Finally, the best thing is that you can utilize secure messages on the go by using our mobile app for firms. So you can see pretty clearly, TaxDome chats are much better than SMS, but the biggest reason to use this feature, it is secure. Now, although we do have plans to add SMS in the future simply because it's popular, it's not the ideal option to communicate with your clients. And we actually have a blog post that explains the difference, which you can review whenever you like. What that blog discusses is a recent IRS summit on security and data protection, where they stress how important it is to ensure your processes are geared towards security. SMS by design is not secure, but tax dome messages are secure because you need to be in the system behind a user ID, password, and even two-factor authentication in order to see them. Now, here's another thing to mention. Chat threads can be started manually, in bulk, or even through automated actions within jobs and workflows. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, let's say, for example, you offer bookkeeping services and every month you want to send a message to your clients with a specific task list so you can get their statements, 
hours, whatever else you need to get their work done. This is what's possible through the job workflow automation, which is actually something we cover in more detail in a different webinar. So be sure to sign up for that one or check out the recording that we have online. But our goal here was to highlight how useful these messages are when communicating with your clients. Now take a look at this screen again right here. While chatting with your client, you can see if there are new messages in the threads how many tasks in each thread were completed, and you can see under the messages little green check marks, which actually are a built-in read receipt notification. Therefore, you know your customer actually looked at it. But back to what I said before, if they don't respond, an automatic reminder can be sent out. Now, if you have several team members working with the same client, all of them can participate in a chat thread and the client will see who had just replied to them. And you can mention your colleagues in messages if you want to focus their attention on something important or ask to perform a specific action. So chats are a great way to send quick tasks to your clients, but what if you need a bunch of information, something that a message simply wouldn't cover? Well, that's where our customizable organizers come into play, and we'll talk about that next. Here's where we get into those organizers. Now, if you need to onboard a new client, or if you just need to collect a long list of information, organizers are a great way to get that done. But you'll get it all done through one single portal. Now think about it. If you're sending out some Google form or a PDF to your customers to fill out, you're sending things from different systems. Wouldn't it be better to have it all in one place? Well, we provide clients with a template library of existing organizers that you could start with, and you can even customize them and edit them to make them your own. Or if you wanted to, you could build one from scratch and you can ask for whatever information is important to you. You can also provide different data entry choices like you see on the right side of the screen here. They can do a free entry, enter numbers, dates. You can even use a little radio button where they have to pick from certain options. Or even better, they can upload a file right then and there. And you can also use text blocks to add descriptions wherever you need to explain something to your clients. And as with other things inside TaxDome, these can be sent manually or through our automated actions within the jobs inside of the workflows. Now here's a few more reasons why these are so helpful. They will auto save as the client works on them. So, they don't have to remember to do anything except complete the information. They are mobile friendly, so your client can do this from anywhere, their computer, their phone, a tablet, or even through the TaxDome app. It's integrated. When you ask for documents, they're automatically saved in the client record. They are custom branded to you, and you're not sending your customer to five different places to get the information you need. And your team isn't manually processing all of these random documents. It's all integrated, all automated. And finally, you have the option to create conditional organizers. Now, what is that? Well, that's where sections or questions can be hidden or displayed based upon answers to a specific question. For example, if they are not married, well, there's no reason for them to answer questions about a spouse, so we would automatically hide those. If they are married, well, those spouse questions will come back. So this will really help your clients because now they won't have to sift through questions that simply don't apply to them. So now we're going to shift gears a little bit here. and We're going to demonstrate the experience your clients would have. We'll start with a quick discussion about the TaxDome mobile application available on Android and iOS. Once installed, they will be able to receive push notifications. They'll have a client-specific help area with information related to their needs, and of course, 
a mobile scanner so clients can quickly scan documents and get them uploaded to you. Now we do have a short video available to you on our TaxDome YouTube channel, which if you didn't know that existed, well, now you do. Be sure to look up TaxDome and subscribe to that channel to get new video walkthroughs and to check out what we already have out there. But the overview is simple. The integrated scanner will create a PDF of a document, either a single page or multi-page, where they can crop it, rotate it, and make a perfect document to send your way right from their phones. But let's go a different route. Even though this is really easy, let's just say your client doesn't use apps like this or perhaps just wants to get you a document, but they can't log into the portal. Do they have an option? Well, they sure do. This little movie running here on the right shows you how easy all of that is. You will have the ability to quickly create an email and of course, a customized message requesting files from your customer. That email will contain a link that your customer would click on. They'll see your message and immediately have the chance to drag and drop files or to find them on their system so they can upload it very quickly for you, all without having to log into the portal to do it. Finally, this link can be revoked at any time so it's not sitting out there forever. Next up here, a quick overview of the client portal. Now this slide is showing you the dashboard of the client portal. This is what your customers will see when they sign in. Now in our overview webinar that I mentioned, we walk through this in much more detail. So today is more of a quick rundown. So what will your customers see when they log in? Well, first they land on the dashboard which will give them a great overview starting with their to-do list. They'll see if there's a new invoice to pay, new messages from you, a newly uploaded document that needs feedback or signatures, and even checklists that you've sent their way. All of that will be front and center in the to-do list. Now also notice on the right that they can quickly upload new documents, send new messages your way, or better yet, they can pay their invoices. Below that, they'll see any outstanding invoices or any credits that they have available. And of course, your contact information will always be handy so they can reach out to you very quickly if they like. And again, folks, we do cover this in our overview webinar, which many of you may have already attended, so we won't spend any more time here. Next up here, we're going to chat about contracts since this is where the relationship usually starts. Sometimes contracts are referred to as proposals or engagement letters, but whatever you happen to call them, you can create these contracts within TaxDome from a template that you have created, which can be sent out one by one in bulk or like other items I've mentioned through an automated action within the workflows. You can also set up automatic reminders for the client so they're not, if they're not getting back to you, they can be pinged so they can get those contracts signed. Your client can e-sign the document right within the system and you can fully control which contacts can sign a contract. So simply put, if you need more than one person to sign a contract, no problem. You have that capability as well. When they sign, the current date will be added automatically and you can itemize your contracts with services to let your clients know exactly what they are paying for. Now we actually cover the services feature in a little bit more detail in our Getting Paid webinar. And finally, you can always see the events that have taken place with the contract. TaxDome's audit log allows you to find out when somebody viewed it or when somebody signed it. Now, as you've already noticed, there are many different ways to communicate with your clients. Depending on your tasks, sometimes you may want to create a chat thread with tasks. Sometimes you may need to request info with the organizer. And if you decide to communicate via email, you should be aware of several important features that TaxDome offers. 
First, you can send emails in bulk. For example, you can filter your client list by specific tag, then select send email bulk action. You can speed up email creation by using predefined email templates. We'll actually cover this topic in the workflow and automation webinar. And you can also personalize your bulk emails by choosing short codes. They are different depending on the mode you are using. Let me show you really quick. You can send your email to either the accounts or to the selected contacts. If you select contacts, you will be able to add any of the contact fields to your email as a short code. So you can add their first name at the beginning or ask to verify that their address or phone numbers are correct. And you can also use date short codes, which are useful when you need to refer to tax documents for the selected year and so on. Finally, we're going to talk a little bit more about automation, specifically automating the process of onboarding your new clients and generating new leads. With TaxDome, you can allow your clients to self-service sign up with you where documents and questionnaires will all be automatically sent. With this automation in place, a new client will simply click a link to sign up, and when they do, they will be greeted with a questionnaire, just like you see here on the right. This will help you funnel clients into specific use cases. So based on their answers, you can send specific emails, contracts, or organizers. So let's walk through this. Somebody hears that you're great at what you do and they reach out to you. What does that process look like today? Back and forth to set up an appointment? Is there a phone call? A bunch of time consuming questions and emails back and forth? Then after that, you have to figure out what to send them based on that call. Well, we all know how much time that takes. And we all know that not all of those people who just took up an hour and a half of your day will become clients, right? Well, instead, why not route them to your page or share the link with them? They complete the information and they tell you what they are interested in. But then what? Then they would receive a targeted email and information based on whatever they were interested in, along with a contract, an organizer, or maybe even an invoice so you can get started. So only after they prove that they are a true prospect do you need to get involved. Now ask yourself, how much time will this save you every week or every month when you're not answering calls or spending time on consultation meetings only to find out that they weren't really interested to begin with? And again, that is the beauty of this automated onboarding process. Send them a link, they fill out the info, and all the important information is sent automatically. And as mentioned here, we do have an automation webinar that will walk you through those details when you're ready. So with that, everybody, we have just wrapped up our webinar for today. As you can see here, once again, we do have webinars that are available and recordings of others that are out there. So feel free to check that out under our resources tab. So with that, we will go ahead and wrap things up. Once again, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. We certainly do hope you found this beneficial and very informative. And we certainly do hope to see each and every one of you signing up soon. So that's all for today, folks. Thank you once again for joining us. And from all of us here at the Tax Dome team, we certainly do hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.